Hi, this is Ryan with uh, Blair Technology Group. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at how to adjust your power options, uh, the amount of time it takes your monitor to go to sleep, as well as uh, to shut down the computer into sleep mode. The uh, very first thing we'll want to do is uh, go ahead and go down to the Start menu on the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, go ahead and left click on the start menu. Once in there, we'll want to go over to control panel here on the right hand side. Left click on control panel. Uh, this will bring up the control panel window. I uh, want to go to hardware and sound here. It'll be the third green link on the left. Go ahead and left click on that. And this will bring up this window here. We'll want to go to power options, which will be the fourth uh, green link there. And once you find that, just go ahead and left click on power options. This will bring up the uh, select a power plan window. should be set to balanced recommended here by default. You can just go ahead and click uh, plan settings off directly to the right from uh, whatever plan is selected and just left click on that. And this will bring up um, drop down boxes so you can set the individual time uh, to turn off the display and to put the computer to sleep. You just left click on these drop down boxes and it will give you a uh, bunch of options here. Uh, you can choose whatever you'd like and you can also switch it to basically never to where it will never turn off unless you actually physically hit the power button on the machine or go to restart it. Uh, so once you've made your selection and you got it set to uh, whatever you'd like you can just go ahead and click this save changes here. This will bring you back to the previous window and if this is all you need then you're done. You can just close this and go about your business. Uh, if you are having some issues with the computer not coming out of sleep mode there are some additional settings so we we'll want to go back to this window here and then uh, change advanced power settings and I'll go through a, a couple steps that, that could resolve this issue. Uh, once you click uh, change advanced power settings this window will come up here and it'll give you a list of items you can choose from um, and they'll have a bunch of little plus boxes beside them each time you click on one of the little plus boxes another line item will come up underneath as you'll see here very shortly and uh, as you keep doing this it'll give you more options uh, now the first thing we we'll want to do is turn off the hard disk uh, sleep function so if you just set this to zero uh, that's essentially the same thing as never, which means the hard drive power will never go down uh, unless the machine's actually shut off. Uh, once that's set, we'll want to go down to sleep here, and there's several options under sleep. Uh, we've already sent it to never, or set it to never, as you saw a little earlier. Uh, so that's already set there, but, and uh, you'll see hibernate after. You want to make sure hibernate is turned off and we're also going to turn off this uh, allow hybrid sleep. What we've essentially done here is just disabled all of the power saving functions uh, associated with uh, the computer and the monitors going into sleep mode. Uh, this You only really want to do this if you're having some issues because uh, it, it does the machine still do pull roughly 50 or 60 watts uh, even in idle mode and in sleep mode it, that's going to go down significantly to probably well under 10 watts I would think. Uh, but this should conclude the video. Uh, if you have any questions certainly feel free to give us a call at the 855-BLAIR-TG. Again that's 855-BLAIR-TG. Uh, we're available Monday through Friday from uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I uh, hope this helped and have a good day. Thank you.